your ages, you can do extraordinary things. And what's inspiring to me, and the thing I love as being county executive, is when you see somebody at the age of 11 say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna make a difference. And I'd like to take your story and go through every school district and meeting kids like you that said, hey, you know what? I could sit back, enjoy the summer, I could play video games all day, or I can make a difference in someone's life, no matter your age. And the fact you were watching TV, correct? And you saw a story about a canine, and you wanted to do some canine that got overheated and had a stroke, and you wanted to do something, get a vest, and decide you're gonna raise money. And mom, you gotta be proud of them, because you, you, you sit there and you go, well, you're 11 years old, and to come up with a game plan, and to execute that plan, and to build upon it, and you've raised over, what, $11,000 so far? About 50000 50? <laughs> All right, fifty thousand dollars so far. I, I, I do have a campaign going on right now. We'll talk afterwards. We might be able to use it. Um, but to make a difference in canines' lives, and uh, you know, who really guard, help protect us, help make sure that we're safe. Uh, not only to get them a vest, but to get them kits. And I actually, you know what? Even being in the military and being around dogs, I never, you know, never thought about a kit for a dog. And to give these officers a tool that if their dog overheats or something happens to them, uh, they'll have the tools to make sure that they can keep them survived until they get into a veterinarian. So I do want to say thank you for that. That's pretty cool, man. Mm -hmm. That is really, really cool. Yes. But I don't want to, you know, I, I want to go over this because not besides the uh, buddy bags that you got, the seven of them, you helped the Albany County Sheriff, the Albany Police Department, Green County Police got a, go, a GoPro. You raised enough money for a two-day training uh, session and lunch for the handlers serving Ravina and Colony. That's awesome. I just want to say thank you again. And now you're doing the shoe drive, which is uh, on top of everything else in this collection. Thank you. I just want to say um, we're so glad to be here, and we really appreciate um, the coverage. Um, Brady's been doing this for three years. Um, we're very, very proud of all Brady's work. And just to let you know, um, he's... Brady's a very sweet boy, and he really loves all the dogs. Um, also with the shoes, I'll let you know where the shoe boxes are right now. There's there's going to be one here at the Jewish Community Center. There's one at the Gilderland Library, the Ravina Library, and also at um, the Town Hall in Ravina and the schools. So we want to thank everybody, and um, we really want to give a special shout out to um, the Punishers uh, Law Enforcement Bike Club, and Brady is the youngest member, and they were actually the ones who helped Brady get the first two vests, so thank you very much. The Albany Jewish Community Center is proud to partner with Brady, so thank you for inviting us to do this. The work uh, Brady does not only protects the canine officers, but it protects the entire community. Um, unfortunately, the JCC is no stranger to threats of violence. And when that happens, it's our local law enforcement and their canine companions that show up to keep us all safe. As a community center open to people of all faiths and backgrounds, we know the power of, of people coming together to do good. And Brady shows us that we don't have to be an adult to change the world. And we hope that all the kids that are here at the JCC see your efforts and realize they can change the world too. Um, to support Brady, you can drop shoes here at the JCC anytime. On Sunday, September 15th, we'll be holding our 40th annual road race, the Duncan Run. We're asking all runners and their guests to please bring an extra pair of shoes. Um, to get more information on that, you can visit our website, albanyjcc.org. We started this thing a couple years ago to honor, I don't want to say ordinary people, but citizens that do extraordinary things in making Citizen of the Month, and that's you this month. So uh, it's an honor to recognize not only the work that you're doing in the community, but like I said earlier, the inspiration you are to your peers. And not just your peers, to people younger and older than you to say that you can do things if you put your mind to it. So it's an honor to stand here today and make you Citizen of the Month. So we have a, we have a couple things for you as Citizen of the Month. Also, my good partner here, Bruce, Bruce Haley, our county clerk. So, Brady, this is a, an extreme honor to present this proclamation to you as Citizen of the Month in Albany County. I'd like to just read something really quick. Brady Arnold, as Citizen of the Month, in witness thereof, I hereunto set my hand and cause the seal of the County of Albany to fix this 20th day 
of August 2019, and it's signed Daniel P. McCoy, Albany County Executive. Congratulations, Brady, for being Citizen of the Month. Congratulations. We also have this for you. Hello. And we have a county pin and a coin for you. Wow. So I want to say thank you for everything you do. And I want to say thank you to all the people who supported Brady's Canine Saviors. Tell them to donate shoes. <laughs> and donate shoes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah.